Hi all folks, this is Max from RootGalaxyNote.com, so I've got a quick ROM overview of Collective Edition uh, version 4 here for your Galaxy Note 10.1 GTN 8000, GTN 8010, GTN 8013. Um, this is a pretty cool ROM. You get an aroma installer with some options to change out um, your you know colors here at the status bar. Um, this will change also some of the colors here. A slight themed out. Um, there's a couple different ones to choose from, um, so you have that option. And also, this ROM comes. One of the biggest things is that uh, it comes with uh, multi-window enabled for all apps. Um, now, the good thing with this one is that uh, it's enabled, so any app you install, it will automatically show up in your multi-window bar, uh, so you don't have to mess with a, a multi-window control app or anything like that. Um, and I can get you know three different browsers open uh, if I want to or even four if you download uh, Firefox the, so that is really cool and uh, let me show you the four-way reboot menus here um, so you can go straight to recovery, hot boot, um, download mode if you want and uh, one of the big things with oh let me show you the ink color changer if you enable this you'll be able to change the ink color uh, like some of the other uh, Galaxy Note ROMs have been doing and uh, this will allow you to change the in color real quick here and there you go um, so that's nice and uh, also it does come with Pimp My ROM um, this one allows you to do a lot of mods tweaks uh, let me actually show you how to do one uh, let's say you want um, My Beats right Pimp My Beats and then go ahead and uh, install it uh, make sure you follow the instructions. So this is for Jelly Bean. So I'm going to go ahead and install um, Reboot f and Flash now. You can wipe and wipe down the cache if you want to. You don't really have to, but that's probably recommended. I'm just going to do it without. I don't like waiting for things. And you always do that after uh, manually if something goes wrong. Um, so you'll be here, and uh, it's supposed to install it automatically. Uh, but if it doesn't, um, it's easy to do. Just go to choose it from SD card. Go to go find the uh, Pimp My ROM folder, and you'll see that uh, Pimp My Beats is there. Simply go ahead and install it. You might get some error here that it's not secure. Um, go ahead and just say yes and install it. Of course, before installing um, any of these Pimp My uh, ROM mods and stuff, make sure you make a backup ROM or at least have one backup ROM you can go back to uh, because sometimes it can break your system when you do a lot of mods um, so just do that uh, do make a backup ROM before you do any of this and uh, once this is done we should have that mod and there's actually plenty more mods um, you can actually do uh, with this ROM and also this one does have V6 supercharger it's supposed to make your um, tablet faster uh, I don't have instructions on that but you can go Google V6 supercharger on um, XDA and uh, you can find out all about that and uh, I'll be back when this is done um, installing. All right, that's done installing. Go back, uh, reboot system now, and uh, it will work on if you have twerp or uh, clockwork mod recovery, a different clockwork mod recovery. Just install it manually, like I just showed you. If if it just stops working, uh, if it just installs, um, that's good too. Uh, you don't have to worry about it. And uh, also, this ROM does come with Acid Audio, uh, but since I just installed a new um, sound mod, it might it probably got rid of it but we'll see what uh, what it looks like now um, there we go so let's see if I got the new uh, sound mod there um, there we go pimp my beats so I've got uh, pimp my beats in there now um, and also I still have my acid sound mod uh, so there's a lot more stuff you can do with the pimp my mod uh, pimp my rom uh, I already installed the Sony Bravia Engine 2 that's supposed to make the images um, and stuff better. Uh, but more tweaks you can do. Um, you know, a lot of a lot of stuff like multitasking here. Um, if you if you increase the min free value, that will you know make sure you always have uh, enough memory for for apps. So if you have tr if you open up a lot of apps and uh, you know if you sometimes it lags or something, you can try setting that high. Um, not sure about these settings, but um, yeah, a lot more tweaking you can do. Certainly, a fun ROM to play with. If you want TouchWiz, um, if you're st still on stock TouchWiz, 
uh, but you want to add get all these new features definitely check it out for this week's ROM of the week when when you install it over any TouchWiz ROMs you shouldn't need to do a data white factory reset just make a backup ROM just in case something goes wrong um, but just go ahead and install it and you should be all good to go and uh, yeah I think that's about it um, check it out and do let me know what you think and uh, if you have a note 10.1 as always don't forget to sign up for my email list at uh, rootgalaxynote.com. We update you once a week with Ramadan Week tips, hacks, and more. And also, if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button for me here. Subscribe button there. If you have, thanks a lot. And I'll see you guys later. Stay high on Android.